Hi, my name is Paolo Tantarelli, and today we're going to talk about the functionality and the purpose of using an A-frame, as well as how to construct one. This video is to empower landowners to look at their property and understand that they can make a direct impact in containing their waste and preventing erosion from going down to our creeks. And by doing that, you want to have an A-frame in your toolbox. An A-frame or a transit are used to find contour and contour is level on slope. So anybody who has um, any kind of subtle to extreme slope on their property, I highly recommend the use of an A-frame. It's as important as a measuring tape or a hammer. The A-frame and waddles go hand in hand because waddles need to be laid level across slopes. And the A-frame is how we find that slope. The prevention of what we're trying to do today is to keep soil clean downstream and to prevent the toxic waste from infiltrating the soil anywhere past the waddle itself. Soil particulates are like magnets. And when rain begins to move soil particulates, they grab onto waste and heavy metals just like a magnet. And so what we're wanting to do is set our waddles on contour to catch all those toxins before they can run downstream. Waddles aren't a long-term fix. And the importance of having them on contour really maximizes the efficiency of what they do. So it's extremely critical to set your waddles on contour because long-term maintenance, if they are off contour, can actually be more detrimental than even doing the waddle installation in the first place. So now we know the importance of finding contour and why to use an A-frame, but let's jump into the shop and build one. We are here filming an A-frame and we've got two helpers today. We've got Nalani and we've got Marcello here and we've got Mr. Mike Rausch donating some of his shop time and we'd like to show the easy steps to make an a-frame so depending on where you're at in your own house there's things that we're going to recommend that you can do with power tools or just hand tools to put this together what materials do we need to put an a-frame together Well, there's a couple important features about the A-frame that we need to consider. So when you're marking your contour, you want to have your flag spacing at a reasonable distance from each other so you can get going. If you make it too big, it's super unwieldy. If right. you make it too small, you're putting too many flags out there, right? Right. So we, we do it at about four feet. So I cut our big piece of plywood into eight inch rip and then I cut little triangles out of each piece. How many triangles do we need to put this together? You need two Six. at each intersection. Six. So he's measuring three inches apart and we're gonna be going eight inches down so if we want to we can just mark eight inches so we see on either edge and we're going to measure that width of what we need to go across at eight inches. So we need about eight and a half inches all the way across to get the template. Okay. Thanks for doing that. So now we've got our template of how to make six isosceles triangles that we're gonna mount and cut on our A-frame. The cross piece on the A-frame must be exactly parallel to the feet, which is achieved by attaching it at the exact same distance up each leg. So we're getting ready to uh, mount our first gusset. And what we do is cut a light angle cut at the top because when we can join this wood together, it's a lot stronger. You don't need to do this. We do it because we are using this thing all the time. Um, so Mike's gonna do a couple simple cuts 
to create this angle. So then we can just mount all of our screws right back on top. All right, thanks for all your help, Nalani and Marcello. Um, and now we're ready to mount our level. What do we need to put this on, guys? Um, um, uh, we're gonna keep this low tech, yeah. We're gonna do some zip ties to put these on and then you're gonna be almost ready to roll. All right, so you can mount the PVC with a couple of simple zip ties. Long term, if you put some screws through and mount it, then it's really gonna stick. But we're just gonna do some zip ties for now. All right, well, I wanna thank Marcello and Nalani and Mike Roush for helping us out. This is how we construct an A-frame, and now it's time to get to work. To start the work with our A-frame, you wanna look at the, the overall burn site and start 10 to 15 feet outside of that space. You don't need to walk in where any of the hazardous waste is. You know, and I really recommend folks to wear a mask if they feel like they can even smell some of the toxins from that space or if it's a windy day, um, even a light rain can bring some of those particulates up into the air and you don't want to inhale those. The functionality of the level is all about the center. So you want to make sure that the bubble lines up with the center and you are finding level every time you rotate the A-frame from one side to the other. So I'll be going back and forth and moving this, always looking for that center bubble and marking my flag. And I place my flag right in between the middle of the two by two. So we're really finding an exact level. And you can go ahead and use a transit, but this A-frame does the exact same work. The only difference is this transit can give me a 2% slope. So when we're gonna be putting in roads or larger swales and we want a little bit of drainage, it's nice to have this tool, but you really don't need it for the work we're talking about today. So I have my initial mark, which is 15 feet outside the burn because we want to make sure that we're going to be catching all runoff. And I've set my first flag, I found level, and I set my second. And now we're just going to be doing rinse and repeat over a hillside until we feel like we've gone outside, 15 feet outside the perimeter of the burn site to, to make sure that we're going to be catching all of the runoff. Now, I think some folks will say there's trunks in the way, there's gopher holes. Why is it worth finding contour? And I just want to encourage people, go ahead and push that gopher mound flat, set your flag. If you notice that the, a tree is in the way, reset your contour and avoid that, but it's not worth not doing. The overall maintenance on a wattle, if you're not finding contour is more detrimental than actually putting it in place. If you go county to county website for best management land practices, BMP work, you're going to get different information. So that's been my experience from looking at Sonoma County's regulations to OSHA's regulations to Southern California regulations. They're going to be a little bit different. And what I'd like to illustrate is what's worked in the last decade for us and what we find to be the most um, effective with the least amount of work. 